Is Bitcoin going to first hit $100,000 or $50,000? With the amount of bulls and bears in the marketplace, I thought we'd come together and take a look at the price action to, term, to determine if Bitcoin's going in the up direction or down. Before we start the video, I want to ask if you haven't already, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. And welcome back to 99B YouTube channel. I'm your host, Umar Khan. Today, we're taking a look at Bitcoin. Before we even start the video, I want to ask, comment down below, do you think Bitcoin is more bullish or more bearish in the rest of the market? Typically speaking, post Bitcoin happening, we see a crazy uh, Bitcoin and altcoin rush, and then simultaneously causing meme coins and other coins to pump as well. However, this bull run has been slightly different in terms of we kind of start off with a meme coin mania first. Altcoins haven't really pumped that crazy just yet, and Bitcoin's kind of rocky. We anticipate post happening for Bitcoin to absolutely go to the moon, but that's not necessarily what we've seen so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see we're down 2% on the day in terms of volume, we're slightly in the green, but we're basically at zero. And in terms of the fear and, and greed index, we're sitting at a 55, which is actually not too bad. We're getting closer and closer to the greed. And that's where we're anticipating to get into the greedier and greedier markets because that's obviously going to help the price of Bitcoin and altcoins pump. In terms of weak Bitcoin up almost 10%. On the day, we're down roughly 2%. Same with Ethereum up on the week 4%, but down on the day roughly 2%. And Bitcoin pretty much, uh, not Bitcoin, uh, Binance coin pretty much same thing. We're seeing this across the board. However, what the heck is going on with Bitcoin? When we look on the week, guys, we can obviously see some 10% gain. We see uh, Bitcoin reaches 1 billion transactions. That was a massive milestone earlier this week. On the month, we're still down a whopping 13%. And then this is interesting as well because Hong Kong approves its ETFs and Hong Kong ETFs go live. I want to show you guys this tweet that I posted a couple of days ago about the whole ETF thing and what happens. Okay, so uh, just leaving this here. And um, this is when Bitcoin's U US ETF went live, right, right around here. Okay, then it kind of dumped a bit or dumped a lot and then continued to move, right? Same thing with the Hong Kong ETF. It was here and it starts to dump, okay? Now, if we go back to this chart over here and we go to, let's just go to the past year, okay? So, our Hong Kong ETF gets approved and we see it's kind of trading in a downwards trajectory. And if we go back to this tweet, we're looking at it here, we're somewhere potentially over here, potentially even over here as well. I personally don't think Bitcoin's gonna bottom lower than 60K, right? But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, we're gonna continue bouncing around up and down in this, in this area, in the zone between 62K and 65k i think overall we're looking bullish and we could see it bounce off the way the same thing happened with the us etfs and again it's not just the bitcoin etfs uh in, the, in america and hong kong that are going crazy but bitcoin adoption around the world is going crazy as well with mining going on and mining production being lowered however people are still creating mining setups as the general overall sentiment is bullish we can see this as well the book bitcoin weekly retest is looking bullish that's good as well hopefully we do see it go in this upward trend break past seventy thousand because a lot of people are anticipating to see bitcoin hit a hundred thousand dollars this bull run okay we can see over on the technicals uh for the one day we're looking oscillators at neutral and moving averages are sitting at the sell and summaries are also uh, sitting in the neutral in terms of the week we're sitting more towards a buy as the summaries are uh, is a buy moving averages are a strong buy and oscillators are in sell so again a bunch of like um we're seeing like eh, it's, it's 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 hard it's hard to see what goes on next for bitcoin right when we see on the week two percent on the month we're down roughly nine percent past six months we're up almost 70 percent which is not too shabby in terms of the news we are seeing some bullish news as well bitcoin has rebound crypto traders anticipating 10 a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin um yes btc recovers but bears are still in control there's a lot of news going around but these are there's two articles i want to highlight specifically this one first okay so bitcoin rebounds as crypto traders anticipate a hundred thousand dollars the number of active bitcoin call contracts is significantly higher than puts indicating a bullish market sentiment so that's great off the bat so we are seeing based off of the calls and puts that we are in a more bullish sentiment Sentiment, okay bitcoin rebound spurs demand for the out, out of the money calls a strike from 70 to hundred thousand dollars analysts say that the path of least resistance for bitcoin is on the higher side bitcoin renewed price swinging has options traders reconsidering possibility of the cryptocurrency reaching hundred thousand dollar level at some point this year again the bulls are taking control right and also this right a donald trump news okay very polarizing figure right trump and the fed could be about could be about to trigger a four trillion dollar bitcoin price boom uh, so the Bitcoin price is trading around sixty-two thousand dollars per Bitcoin, almost fifty percent since the beginning of the year. Now Elon Musk issued a stark warning over the collapse of the U.S. dollar. Former U.S. president um, and the Federal Reserve could help Bitcoin price rocket two hundred thousand per Bitcoin by twenty twenty-five, according to the one analyst giving a crypto uh, cryptocurrency a market capital capitalization around four four trillion dollars. Right? Again, even even on Twitter, we're seeing a lot of news that Donald Trump could be uh, the the call 
dollar for crypto we can see um we see over here just in 800 billion standard charter banks report that donald trump presidency would be good for bitcoin and crypto if that happens that would be great even last time when he was president the real estate market was doing well we we're sitting in a bear market in a bull market so trump could be good for crypto we see breaking 420 430 billion asset manager uh internationally just reported that 1.2 billion bitcoin across 10 etfs including 1 billion in just grayscale's bitcoin etf wall street is hungry for bitcoin that's absolutely massive they're just buying into bitcoin right this is well this is actually interesting justin bankrupt ftx plans to overpay all customers around 15 billion dollars in recovery cash how much of this will flow back into bitcoin now in ftx's case in my personal opinion the people that were burned by crypto probably want nothing to do with crypto if they do get any recovery cash or recovered cash they're probably going to dump but yeah there's going to be a good majority who's going to ape into bitcoin meme coins and also ethereum right justin argentina state owns a company subsidiary will mine btc with standard gas and the source is forbes eventually every country will be mining bitcoin absolutely massive so again with all this bullish predicament guys i'm overall very bullish for bitcoin i think we can easily see bitcoin hit hundred thousand dollars this year a lot of analysts are predicting we'll see even potentially a two hundred thousand dollar bitcoin by 2025 this bull run is going to be so different than previous ones i was having chats with mates as well potentially we might never see a crazy bear market again for bitcoin i personally think that bitcoin might bottom around 55 i mean it's possible for it to continue going down but i think with all the money in etf and if gold replicates what happened if bitcoin replicates what happens with gold we could see Bitcoin, at least Bitcoin, not the entire crypto market, in a whole different position, which is very interesting. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and meme coins, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below as we cover these cryptos on a regular basis. That pretty much wraps up the video. Until next time, it's your boy Umar. Peace.